Hello, this is Linda Grace Cox with msrelief.com and I'm very excited to be here with Dr. Balshi yet another for another stem cell treatment. This is number five for me and I, um, he's so gracious that he will answer questions and so I tell him when he answers my questions he has to tell you too so you know. Okay, Dr. Balshi. He ha Dr. Balshi has done really a good job sharing with us information about the whole procedure and everything and this time I'm wondering how long the procedure helps and so if you would tell detail like you did to me when I was talking to you about Sure. It. So okay. one of the questions that I'm often asked is what is the amount of time a stem cell has to go and do its job to heal some tissue, mount a repair response and so what we know based on evidence and certainly things that are done in the laboratory it looks like stem cells probably remain at work for about four months doesn't mean that the healing is over then, but I think that bulk of that work is done in the first three to four months. Okay, so so why is it that we come back every six months then instead of four months? Well, you could probably push that envelope a little closer, but let's say there is a bit of healing that's still going on. We really want the stem cells to kind of carry out the whole process, give you a little chance to recover before we get back at it. Okay, then do you think that the stem cells are sloughed off then? I mean, do, what happens to them after they're done doing their healing thing? Do they just... Well, like most every cell in the body, there's turnover. You know, like red blood cells, for instance, they live 120 days and they die and they're constantly being replaced. So when you're here and we harvest those stem cells, they go to use and then new ones are being basically replicated and forming. Okay, one more question. For me personally, I, um, you know, I do these walking updates every month, well, I, mostly, and this last, for the last six months or so, my shoulders are really sagging, and I'm not able to stand up straight like I used to, and you had a thought about that. Well, you know, every muscle is controlled by a nerve, so potentially in MS, any muscle group could be affected. So likely the myelin on that nerve that supports those muscles has suffered a little damage, and that's why. Okay. Okay. So the hope is then that the stem cells will find the damaged areas, and that I will it will be duplicated and replicated and and, and repaired, healed. right? And repaired. Okay. One more question. Sure. So do you have you have other MS patients? I know. Yes. Okay. So tell me, I, I, how often do your other patients come in and see you? What has been like the standard of what the people that you have? If I could put a standard on something that's very unstandard I would say every six months is probably perfect depending on the severity and as you know um, MS can be anywhere from very very mild very stable to extraordinarily severe and um, so depending on where you fall in that spectrum you know if you were really severe and you needed to come more frequently we might be able to do that every four months do, do you is there a limit is there can now, I do this forever? You'll never run out of stem cells because they replace themselves continuously. Um, and really most of us never run out of fat either. It's everywhere. You okay. know? And that's the beauty of, of this procedure is it's so, it's so easy to do. Um, it's virtually painless as you know. Right. Um, and you can do it multiple times without running out of um, the supplies. How are people being affected by it? How are your patients? It's overwhelmingly satisfying for me, especially, but also for, for the patients. You know, not everyone that comes here has some amazing story that I'm um, cured, or, but virtually everyone has some improvement. And even if it is my disease stopped getting worse, I mean, for that, it, that's considered a success here. Yes. You know? Yes. Okay, and then one other question. I might have just asked this. Is there, can we do this for, can I do this for the rest of my life? Can I keep going and going and going? Well, you can until there's probably a certain point age related. Um, as we know, the older we get, the less new stem cells are made. So, you know, when you're in your 80s and 90s, there's far less there. It wouldn't preclude you from being able to go through the procedure. There just wouldn't be as an abundance of, of cells available. Okay. So, so the answer is you can do it for, for the rest of your life. So my young age of 51 years, I'm good. You're good. I'm good. Okay, 
I thank you so much. My pleasure, Linda. And I will be back in six months. Okay, see you then. Okay. Thank you. So visit me on MS Relief, and we'll see you there. Bye-bye.